All right, guys, just a quick little video here on how to make a counter or timer um, pulse diagram. Um, I'm trying to make a, a, a textbook on TA Portal, um, and I'm looking at the easy book right now for TA Portal, and they have some awesome stuff. I just want to make it um, with my own little flair. So I like to create something similar to this. So, so in my textbook, I'm up to the, the up down counter. I've done the up counter, the down counter. Uh, let me show you what I've got so far. Uh, where is it? Right here. Uh, so I started with this guy with the up counter um, and I can't remember how I made this. I made this in like paint or something like that and I slowly and methodically put these guys in. You can see that this line does not match with this line. Um, so slowly methodically made this with all like literally like putting in a straight line, putting another straight line in, trying to have them all the same size and everything. Uh, and then I don't know how I saw, I think I was looking for an image for uh, a pulse diagram uh, and something came up that was awesome that looked similar to this. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful, it's gorgeous. How do I do it? <clears throat> um, and then I watched a YouTube video, which I've lost now. So now I'm making my own video just so I can remember how to do this when I come back to it in like six months time and I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Um, so. In order, to, uh, in order to mimic this bad boy right here uh, for the up-down counter, I want to put a little, like a little bit of a flare. I want to change it up a little bit, maybe have it in a different order or something like that. Uh, and so instead of doing it in paint, you can do it in Excel. So I have this in Excel here, and all I've done here is I've just put in my labels here. So count up, count down, my reset, the load, uh, current value, uh, the QU and the QD values. Um, and as I've gone through, um, I was like, well, how the heck do you create like this timing diagram where everything lines up? Well, the beauty of Excel is that it already gives you this grid. So it matches perfectly. The way to do this is say I want this line right here on the bottom there. Um, then I go to this one right here. So you put, go to your bottom border and then click to expand the values. And then as you go down, like you could do this and slowly make it like thick bottom and then, you know, put a side on and everything. But look at this, you go to draw a border, click on this guy. And then literally like if I wanted to choose the exact one, I can do line color. So say I wanted to do this uh, in a blue. Right, and I wanted to have it as a, uh, a thicker value, so not a thin one, I want to do a thick one like this. Then I've chosen the blue and a thick, and I just go across here and ba bam she's ready to go, right? And as I go through, you're literally just drawing in the pulse diagram here. So here I have a zero, then I'm moving it up to a one, back down to a zero, and you can slowly and methodically create your pulse diagram. You screw it up, you just go to uh, undo, and then just go back. Okay, here I have different uh, colors, but in the textbook, um, I would like to go from this and kind of have the same format all the way through. So that was my count up pulse diagram. I'll show you what I've done for my countdown. So I go here to my countdown. It's a lot cleaner. And I'm trying to keep the same you know, thing all the way through. So rather than having all those different colors, I just like to have the one color all the way through so that even if you're printing it out in black and white, that it's monochromatic and it, it's more pleasing uh, to the eye. So in order to do that, I need to fill these guys in. So all you do is go over to fill, uh, you pick a, a specific values, like maybe I want this guy right here. So I want to fill this one right here with that same color, this guy right here. Beautiful. And then you can just slowly fill in the positive pulses as they come through. Cool, eh? Um, say you want to do like this one for the, uh, the counter value. So every time that I have a pulse, it's going to increase the value. Again, um, let's see, I should still be, sh oh, I lost it. So I want to go to draw the border. We'll see if it still has the same value. Yeah, right on. So still a thick blue. I can go across as much as I want gives me my grid. So every time that I have a positive pulse, then the value is increasing. There's my positive pulse and that's uh, matching with this guy. So I want to have a dash line that corresponds from this uh, zero to a one transition uh, with this going from, you know, zero to one now to two. So I got to draw another line in. So I can go stay with the same line color, go with a different style and go down to this bad boy right here. And then I want to transfer this 
down to here, ba bam So every time that I have a positive pulse, then the value is increasing. Cool. I want to fill in uh, everything. So I want to fill all these guys across and I want them all to be the same color. So I can just fly across and it's awesome. As soon as you're done this, then you have the same color all the way through. Nice. I think that kind of gives you an idea of how to create your pulse diagram. The only last thing is how do you transfer this into a Word document? Well, you literally just go like this. You grab the bottom here, bring it across, grab the whole thing, uh, and then copy that bad boy. Go into your Word document, um, and I want to go down to my countdown. So there's my pulse diagram right here. I'm going to put it right here, maybe a little space between those bad boys, and then paste that bad boy in, and ba-bam, there she is. So there's my whole pulse diagram. Let's see if I can view this thing. Uh, let's close this bad boy up. Let's go page width. No, nope. sorry, two seconds. I just wanna see if it's, okay. So here you can see that the, the size is a little bit too big. Can we make this? Interesting, so at that point I'm lost cause I gotta find the way to make this uh, fit my page here. Um, but you can get the gist. It's, you can see the beautiful pulse diagram that uh, that drops in here. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a way to make this uh, fit. That sucks that you can't just bring it uh, smaller. I'll have to find the, the sizing. But you can see how everything lines up. Let's go to uh, this here, and you can see that it looks gorgeous, eh? And then it looks like you like you'll have the same format all the way through. Uh, the only thing I don't like is these little white lines that are between there, but they kind of give you a distinction between the different values as well. So in order to finish this guy off, then I'd have to put in some uh, some numbers as it increments and decrements up and down. So I think this one was my, that was my countdown. Yeah, so um, once you're done, then you'll have all your numbers, right? So this one, I'm, as I load the value in, then a value of three goes in there. And every time that I count down, it goes from three to two to one to zero. Uh, and so I love doing this pulse diagram because it gives you a good uh, understanding of how the actual up timer, down timer, up counter, down counter uh, actually works and all the different components that are in there. All right, guys, hopefully that, uh, that helps. It's primarily for myself, so I remember uh, what I'm doing six months from now. Uh, if you have a way for me to reduce the size in the Word document, um, I'll probably figure that out in about five minutes, but uh, put it in the comment section below. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll see you soon.